Humans often look to penguins as if they're relationship gods. Like they mate for life and they have really high fidelity rates. But is any of that actually true? Let's find out. So I think these ones are king penguins and they're incredible. Like, I mean, look at them. They're supremely adapted to getting around underwater and a penguin will spend like 75% of its life or something like that in and under the water. Penguins do almost everything in groups. They like to nest in sort of big groups that they call rookeries or colonies. They like to hunt in groups. They generally just like to hang out in groups. Is that one nibbling the camera? <laughs> so they're much more comfortable there than they are on land. <laughs> that one's right there, it's not hard. It's actually more energy efficient when they can to do the tobogganing on their tummy rather than walking because their little feet are so ungainly. Uh-oh, I got split. Oh no! Run! Run! You can make it! Go, mate! Oh, he's going! He's going! He's going! Oh! Yes! <laughs> it's funny because they're probably all going to the water, right? But the instinct is for safety in numbers. His instinct, its instinct, is to be with its friends. So one of the strategies they have for still being able to go to the supermarket and come back and feed their babies is lumping all of their kids together into a creche. So, yeah, that's adorable. <laughs> oh, look at those little pink tooties. Oh, did he just nick someone's rock? So gentoos are nest builders and they will use vegetation to make their nests. But this is somewhere where there is no vegetation. It's only pebbles. What they want to do is create a nice sort of bowl shape. So if it snows, it means that there'll be really good drainage so the egg doesn't sit in a pool of water in that muddy sort of stuff. So in the battle to win a female's heart, he'll be looking for the perfect pebbles. When you say you love someone, but the pressure is so intense to have the perfect rocks that you just might turn to a life of crime. Oh no, there's an unfortunate teenager in the background that's got like a mullet going on halfway through a molt. Look away, everyone. If you are under 18, please look away. <laughs> it's about to get randy. So they're doing a courting dance. He's moving into position. She's moving the tail to the side. The cloaca will become visible in five, four, three, two. And done. So yeah. Penguin love, do they mate for life? Most penguins do not mate for life. There are some that have long lasting relationships and there are others that have long lasting relationships and have lots of sex on the side. And there are others still that just get a new man every single year. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if the penguin wants to get out there and, you know, experiment, who are we to get in the way? So whether they're monogamous, I would say, in some cases, but not all. So southern rockhopper penguins are an interesting case. They sort of seem to mate for life. They'll come back as the same pair again and again and again. So what's the secret to their success? Well, they spend very little time together. It's like 20 days a year, if that. And the rest of the time, they spend very far apart. They essentially go to opposite corners of the globe. And that's the secret to a good relationship. Even if these birds aren't the hopeless, lifelong romantics that you thought they were, 
you've got to give them some credit for being some of the best parents in the world. And on top of that, they survive by being in just vast numbers in extremely harsh environments. If you like this video and you want to find out more amazing animal facts, then you should find my podcast. It's weekly and it's called What the Duck. Yes, you can find it on the ABC Listen app and also anywhere that you find your podcasts.